This is a quick little lesson on how to make your guitar sound more like a harp. In beginner lessons, oftentimes students can ask me, they go, do you know what? I want to do ukulele and I'm thinking about doing banjo as well and I love drums and I'm like, well, guitar can do a good lot of those things to a certain degree. Of course, it's not the same as having the actual instrument, but it's a really good experiment in creative sounds. So in this lesson, I'm going to break down on how to make your guitar sound more like a harp. I have one done from a while back on how to make your guitar sound more like a banjo and that should pop up above right about now. Let's get into it. Now, for those of you out there who are like, let's just do this, let's explain it. I'll just say, whatever chord you have on, instead of picking each string like that, pick each note of the chord 12 frets up from where you have your fingers positioned. So 12 frets up from this one, because we're on the third fret, 12 frets up is the 15th fret. 12 frets up from the second fret, two plus 12 is 14. Open strings are ones to watch, they'll be on the 12th fret. And that's it in its simplest form. And note the way that as I go along, the tone does drastically change. Something like that. <laughs> so, the other way you could do it, because I had a student once who was like, oh, so I add 12, add 12, add 12, and they were worn out doing maths in their head. The best way to begin to do it is to look at whatever chord shape you have and just visualize it up here on the fretboard. You can take a bit of time, but it's really worth it. And you'll eventually get your hand movements in line with that visualization. So for C, I'd know, I'd move in, back out, and in like that. For D, G, And with bar chords, it works really well. Now, sometimes you have a bit more tracking to do because see the way here on the fretboard, if I go up to here, I'm all of a sudden out of frets to track this width. So once you go past the fourth or fifth fret, you may not have any frets to look at and go, oh, that's definitely 12 frets up from this one. Now you can shoot in the dark, Just try and get it by tone. But I'd usually recommend just to keep it down low like this. And you can use it with bar chords. It takes a bit of practice, <laughs> as you can see, to um, get it working smoothly, especially with those more harp-like rhythms that we could be going. and so on. So definitely take it slow and build it up. And for anybody out there who's about to comment, dude, that does not sound like a harp. Uh, it doesn't sound exactly like a harp. It sounds relatively close to a harp. And if you ever have to play a song that you need a harp sound on guitar, it's the closest thing you're gonna get, minus effects pedals and stuff like that. Um, one example would be Cosmic Love by Florence and the Machine. That's a song that has a harp going on it that sometimes I've used to build that sound. So I think that's about it. If you wanna keep up to date for future lessons, just hit subscribe below. We'd love to hear how you get on with this. So just share a comment below or share maybe what other sounds you've gotten on guitar before that perhaps don't belong on guitar or aren't as associated with the guitar. Thanks for watching, catch you soon.